Hi guys, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com coming to you tonight to do uh, a quick demo video on the iPack Pocket PC. It's HP, I should say HP uh, iPack Pocket PC. Um, it's the model number 1945. And uh, I'm going to point the webcam down here. I'm going to try to do this quick, folks, because it is getting late. It's going on 12 midnight over here. I'm on the east coast of New York. And uh, as I said in my other earlier videos, that I did uh, tonight. I normally don't do videos this late at night. Um, I usually like to do them in the morning. So if I kind of like mess up on stuff, uh, please set my apologies. But at this first time coming to my YouTube channel, my name is Rich Bassine from RichBassine.com and I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. And this one is um, a demo video on the HBAC. So without further ado or wasting any more time, taking your time up, I know you probably want to you got other things to do besides this little videos. So let me point my webcam down and show you what I got going on here. Okay. Here you go, folks. I took out the uh, the battery here. This unit, or well, this item, is going to come with two batteries. I don't know, um, you know, this is how I picked it up. So I don't know, like, you know, how good the battery is. I know I charged this one up the other night. And I had charged it for a couple hours. And uh, it seems to hold a charge on it. So, again, I don't know. But what you're getting here is um, you're getting the unit itself. That's the cover for the back. I got with the battery in. I do live videos, so you show. You know, I, I want to make sure you're seeing everything work in its functionality. You know, live. You know, I don't want you to be surprised if you get it and you know something has something arrives at your house or whatever, and you say, hey, you know, this thing doesn't work or whatever. So I like to do live videos. This way, you know that the item is working and it is functional. Uh, I don't know too much about it. There is no original packaging or user manuals with it, so I can't tell you too much about it. I don't have the information on it. However, I could pull it off the in, uh, internet, uh, so as you can do the same thing as well if you want to read up on it uh, and get more information on it. So what you're getting here is the charging base here, okay? Um, I, I believe you can use the, um, a USB. We go in there. I don't have the cable for the USB, uh, so you could probably pick one of those up. Uh, I think you could charge it up with you. You could you know, connect it to your computer. I believe you could. Um, the unit would dock in this way, like that. That's how we go into the unit. It would go like that. It's charging. Okay. Um, put this over here for a second here. You do get the AC adapter. Now this here, this adapter here, it's kind of a little funny the way it looks here. Um, the way this works is, I'll just pull this out really quick. Um, if you're going to charge it up with the adapter, uh, th this here goes on this here, like this, it slides onto the power adapter, and then this would goes in, wait, no, th this would here, if you're going to use, I'm sorry folks, let me just correct that, if you're going to use, you're going to charge up your, uh, the, the PC here, or the pocket PC, that adapter would go into that, this adapter here goes into the AC power plug. And then you would plug this into here. Uh, make sure you're plugging in it right like that. The good way to know is just know that the label, when the label shows you, that's the proper way of plugging it in. And that's how that would go in. And it's got two <clears throat> quick release buttons that you'd push in and pull out. Okay, it's got two on each side. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Um, you do get the uh, case with it. This is the original HP case that comes with it. Okay, it's, it is branded with the HP case. And again, you're getting the base, the charging base with it. You're getting the HP. This is, uh, now, let me see some here. Now, this one here was bundled with it. This is Delta Electronics. Now, uh, I don't know if this has any affiliation with them, but this is what came with it. Okay. Uh, I don't see where it says HP on here. If it does, I don't see it. Okay. I would think it does come with it. All right. Anyway, you're getting the AC adapter with it, okay? And again, the case and the additional battery. Okay, without wasting more time, I'm going to plug this. I'm going to put this in here live. So you see it's going into the unit live, you know, like that. I'll plug in it like this and snap it in the back of it. Uh, let me just talk a little about the condition of it. The unit itself is pretty clean. Um, it does have little minor wear, nothing bad. It looks pretty clean overall. As you can see it in the video, okay, it is pretty clean. It's not a bad unit. Uh, the face of it here, the thing here, it's pretty clean. 
Uh, might have like a little thing over there. I don't know if this got a screen protector on it, but it's got like a little mark over there. I don't want to put any harsh cleanses on it. Uh, when I clean these type of LCD screens or these type of things, I use uh, like a, just a damp towel with water on it, very light. Because I don't know, you know, you don't want to put chemicals on it. You don't want to damage it, you know. Uh, it was it, it was clean, though. I mean, the base of it itself, you know, the back of it was clean. I use a mild cleanser on it to take off any dirt or whatever on it. Um, on the back over here, uh, I'm going to take my magnifying glass, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Printer is getting small for me. My eyes are getting old. It says Pocket PC 2003 Pro with Outlook 202. Okay, 2002. Let's see, see that for yourselves if you could see that. All right, here you go. That's what it says on the back. And it says Microsoft Windows powered. Okay, so now the battery was charged up a couple days ago. So let's see what happens here. Wait, okay, is this power? I don't know which way I've got to power it on here. I know I had the, uh, unless I put the wrong battery, is that possible? I wonder if I put the wrong battery in. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, let's see here. I know I had it plugged in before. I think I put the wrong battery in. Let me check. Let me just pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Folks, I'm sorry. I had the battery. I, 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 I switched around the other battery. As you can see, it's powered up here. Um, I wish you could see it the way. There's so much glare in here with this webcam. Okay, there you can see it's uh, powered on. It says Windows uh, Mobile. Okay, uh, it is color. I know you can't see it that good. I'm sorry, folks. I really do apologize. Um, it just put on to something else now. Let me see. Okay, it's back to that again. Oh, touch the screen. Okay. Oh, you know what it is, folks? Uh, when I took the battery out to show you guys the demo, the live demo, it's going to the setup again. It's saying if you tap the target uh, firmly accurately, uh, and accurately at each location, I guess to synchronize it, whatever, align the screen. And you got they want you to hold it on here, go back and forth a couple times to uh, make it work, whatever. Yeah, you got to do this here. You got to do this with the screen here. This is you got to line the screen with it. And then when you do it, that's my fault, folks. I should. I, I thought. I you know. I wanted to do. You know what it is? I want to do a live demo and I want to show you guys how everything works right from start to finish. Um, but now I want you to do this here. You got to line the screen here. And uh, let's see what happens here. There's nothing wrong with the unit. It's because I took the battery out, and I guess it's reset itself. You know, it's just like in other words, it's like you're starting from scratch again. So let's see what happens here. I guess they want you to move from switch. I don't know how long you got to do this for. Unless I'm not doing it right. Oh, you know what? And and it does come with the stylus pen, folks. It's right over here. When I first got this thing, I didn't think it had the stylus pen on it, but it is. It does have the stylus pen. Okay, I guess I want to use your finger here, so let me just use my finger here. Um, you know what? This is taking a lot longer than expected here. <laughs> I should have done this ahead of time. But you know what it is? I like to do these things live, folks. And uh, I wonder how long I'm going to do this here for. Let me see. Maybe it's... I want to say I have to... Just touch it. Okay, I guess I had to touch it. I was I was going back and forth. I don't know. I don't really know how to use these things. I don't really have one of these. But anyway, uh, if you could see it, uh, it's not. I really can't even show you. It's so bright in here. But as you could see, folks, it um, it's asking you to touch here. Whoops! If I could do it here, I'm doing it backwards here. So I'm sorry. Well, unless they want me to touch with my hand. I don't know what they want me to do here. Single tap and hold. Oh, create copy. Uh, let's see here. Single tap. Okay, now window change. You don't have to play around with it, folks. Um, I, 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 like I said, I did this video here. It's got the pop-up menus. It's got a whole bunch of different things to it. It does come with the stylus pen. When I first picked it up, I didn't think there was going to be a stylus pen with it because I was, the first thing I was looking for, I said, oh, man, you know, you're picking these things up from a thrift store and uh, chances are something's lost off the pen is lost or maybe it didn't come with a battery. But uh, apparently it did come with the, um, the stylus pen. That was one of the things I was looking for because you could use, actually, if you needed, you probably could use something like this too, a plastic tip on it, you know, because that's what this has. This feels like it's a hard plastic. Well, type of feels like a hard plastic. But you could probably use something like that if you need be, if you didn't have it. But 
uh, that was one of the things I checked for. And that would slide right over here, folks. So if you do get it, uh, don't panic and say, hey, where's the pen? It didn't come with the pen. The pen is right there. It's very sleek. It's a very slim pen. You know, think, yeah, look at this thing, how small it is. Okay. It's, it's metal based, but I think it's got like a plastic tip out here. And you'll do all your thing there. You'll do everything with that there. Um, you know, it does shut off on its own. So I guess it saves the battery. And, you know, you can do a lot of things with it. It's a pocket PC. Um, I don't know, you know, how much storage is on there. There's ways to find out, but I'd be here all day trying to show you this thing, going through the menus, because I myself would have to learn how to use it. I never had a pocket PC. I remember when they came out. I know, I'm sure they still have them. <clears throat> I, on the other hand, I just don't know how to really use it, you know. Now, this here, I think you would slide a memory card in there, which doesn't come with it. So I think that's what goes in their memory card. What you see here, folks, on the desk here is what you're getting. You're getting the, uh, the pocket PC. You're getting the case that comes with it. It does fit in there, as you can see. So you power it off. So it saves the battery, too. And, uh, and when you touch it, it goes back on again. Um, it fits in there nice. It's belt clip. Okay. The case is not too bad. It has like a little wear mark on the back over here, on that corner there. Okay. Uh, the case is pretty decent size. We'll protect it. Okay. So you got the case with it. Take that back out. Because I want to make sure this thing shuts off. I don't want the battery to go dead dead. I'm not sure even how to shut it off, to be honest with you folks. <laughs> like I said, I don't own one of these here, you know. Um, and again, you're getting the uh, AC charger with it. Uh, this is an AC, is HP. This is an HP adapter. I don't know what Delta Electronics is. Um, again, this is what came with it. So I'm sure this is the right thing for it I would hope because uh, this here this a this HP thing does connect in here okay this is how I got it so that's how that would go um, if this you would only use this if you're going to go directly into the uh, pocket PC itself you're going to charge it or you know with the AC adapter um, if you want to charge it with the base what you do is take this part off of course and there's a little output over here where you put it right in here and that would go in there and then you would plug that, of course, into your wall, and you leave it in the charging base. You know what? Let me just show you how it looks when it charges up. Okay, folks? I got a cord here. I go keep an extension cord here. This is how it looks when it charges up. Uh, you get a blinking yellow light. Okay? Uh, that's telling you I think it's charging. And then I think when it's fully charged, the light turns blue on here. Uh, apparently, it doesn't do it yet. I guess when it turns blue, you would know. Uh, I could charge it up like that, but... You'll eventually, when you take it off, after it's been charged, I guess when it's fully charged, uh, and you take it off the cradle, uh, this here will turn blue, this light here. Right now it's orange. I'm sure you can't see that right now, but it's orange. Okay. And I'm not sure what goes in here. There's a little slot over here. Um, I'm not sure what goes in there, folks. I don't know if there's anything else that comes with this here. But I'm not sure. I, honestly, I'm not sure what goes in there. I don't think batteries would go in it. I don't know. I don't know if that's an additional. I don't know if this is an additional battery holder. I don't want to. Ch I don't want to put it in there because I don't want to short anything out. Uh, unfortunately, there's no manual. But like I said, you could probably get a manual for this from HP uh, if you go onto their their system, uh, their website, and you could probably get the information you need. But as you can see, it does power on. Again, you get an extra battery. I don't know. This is an original uh, HP battery, as you can see here. I don't want to drop the thing. So it is an HP battery, and the one that's in the unit is an HP battery as well. Okay, so you are getting an HP battery. Um, that's basically it, folks. I don't know what else I could tell you about this here. Um, if you got any questions, please uh, message me on the eBay messaging system, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, again, if you like to, if you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you thought this helped you out in any way, uh, please you know give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you soon. It is now 12 midnight, and uh, I think it's time to call it a night. Um, I wish you guys all the best in your shopping around, but uh, thanks again for stopping by and checking out my video. You take care. Have a great day, and wherever you are, great night. Bye now.